Here's the boat when I first got it. I will be doing a complete restoration, but first make sure the boat is water worthy. The transom had rotted because the water port holes were leaking and there were old motor mount holes that needed to be filled. First, you want to remove the corners and the top plate and all the hardware running through the back of the boat, which is going to be aluminum and most likely break on you. It's important to replace these bolts with aluminum so they don't corrode because of dissimilar metals. I was able to locate some on eBay. The same is true with treated plywood. It's treated with copper and can cause a battery-like effect between the aluminum. So I went with regular plywood. The transom opening is inch and a quarter, so I had to use 5 h plywood doubled up, glued together, and then screwed. Pay close attention to where you put these screws to make sure that they don't interfere with drilling new holes for the new hardware and ports. I coated the plywood with a waterproofing product called Hydroban I had left over from a bathroom remodel. I had to make some adjustments with a sander to make sure that the aluminum rail fits snugly inside the frame while the cap sits on the outside, pinching the two sides together. I then used a drill jig to drill the holes through the transom, starting out with a small pilot bit and then going larger, making sure I went through both sides. Afterwards, I filled the holes with marine sealant and installed the hardware. Next, I installed the new water ports I got off of Amazon. These are the reason this transom had rotted out, is those plastic pieces had cracked. Pay attention to how you install these because they are directional and you want the little stubs pointing out from the boat so they will drain. I then filled all the remaining holes from the old motor mounts with Bondo glass. This is a 100% waterproof product and might take a couple coats to fill the holes. It's also reinforced with fiberglass strands so it fills big gaps easily. Before giving it a final sand and a coat of paint, I wanted to countersink the screws on the back of the boat and even my tether is sticking out. For a final finish, I installed the spill tray in the back, making sure to caulk the seam at the bottom so any water won't leak through it anymore. And the water will drain through the new water ports properly. One last final coat with Rust-Oleum paint and this thing will be ready for a motor. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. For future updates on boat restoration, upcoming new carpet, outboard motor, wiring, and center console.